Briefing the UN Security Council members on the situation in Gaza. Uh, of course, Ton Westland, Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process, said a ceasefire and hostage release, hostages release deal in Gaza is imperative, imperative rather, for regional peace and security. Despite the U.S. late process for an imminent ceasefire deal, tensions remain high in the Middle East region. Let's have more details of that in this report by Sassum Cham. The United Nations Security Council meeting on Thursday was informed about the need for an urgent ceasefire and the release of hostages in Gaza, as well as reports about the worsening of humanitarian crisis, including a polio outbreak. To Winnesline, the UN Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process condemned the mediation efforts by Egypt, Qatar and the UN, but warned that time is running out. The UN official also underscored the need for political and security frameworks to address the border crisis in the region. I commend the mediators, Egypt, Qatar and US for their continued and relentless efforts in Doha and in Cairo this week. I urge the parties to reach a deal in the coming days. There is simply no time to lose. The UN remain committed and ready to scale up humanitarian assistance during a ceasefire and supporting implementation of a deal. Only a sustained ceasefire can enable a full-scale humanitarian and early recovery response in Gaza. Louisa Bigstar, operations lead for Save the Children's Emergency Health Unit in Gaza, also spoke about the humanitarian situations in Gaza, highlighting repeated obstructions to aid delivery and the severe impact on children. Now a confirmed polio outbreak in Gaza. The first confirmed case, a 10-month-old baby in Darabella, is an individual tragedy. And at the same time, a sign of a larger looming catastrophe. Polio is a highly infectious virus and can infect anyone at any age. However, those most at risk of children under five. For every 200 children who become infected, one will suffer irreversible paralysis. Polio is easily prevented by a safe and effective vaccine. The United States, represented by Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield, once again reiterated its support for Israel while also advocating for a comprehensive ceasefire. The Russian Deputy Permanent Representative Dmitry Polyang scheduled on Israel's military presence in Gaza and the United States' role in negotiations. Meanwhile, Palestinian Ambassador Riyad H. Mansour also voiced his concern about the emergence of polio in Gaza, urging swift actions to prevent further loss of life. Israeli Ambassador Danny Donan defended Israeli's actions, asserting that his country is not intentionally targeting civilians and is facilitating humanitarian aid, including vaccinations campaign in Gaza. Reporting for African News, I'm Sassum Chow.